This new church being constructed for the Congregation of All Saints Cathedral in Nakaseru is one of the very last projects that retired Archbishop Livingstone Palanyinkoyoyo helped to raise funds for. According to his widow Ruth Nkoyoyo, he always wished to be alive when it was finished. <laughs> Even on his deathbed, Ruth says Nkoyoyo still monitored construction work at the Uganda Matters Museum at Namugongo. However, death took him before everything was done to his satisfaction. <laughs> She revealed this during a funeral service for the fallen man of God at All Saints Cathedral, Nakaseru. <laughs> President Yoweri Museveni attended the service and in his speech, he promised to continue supporting all projects that Nkoyoyo was running. That museum, we helped him to move it where it is now. I didn't know that he needed more things. A lot of work has been done. But I will now uh, meet the Archbishop in Tagari, find out what is needed, and then we can support that work. Museveni spoke of the late Nkoyoyo as a leader and a man who preached unity and development. What mattered was all God that we saw. Our brethren and sisters in Christ. That's what mattered to them. So, the Marokore are a very important group in civilizing Uganda. He challenged church leaders to save the people in their ministries from falling onto the sword of poverty. Different speakers at the service dared leaders to begin preparing for their exits by mentoring people who can take up their responsibilities. Today, we have become individualistic, greedy and corrupt because we want to meet our selfish interests. Bishop Nkoyoyo had a big heart for all Ugandans. He served his country and church selflessly and has left a legacy that will be remembered by many generations around the world. The children to the deceased spoke candidly about their father. Most of his friends, they are not Anglicans, who cast their best everywhere. And that was important to him. He was, however, overwhelmed by emotion and broke into tears a number of times. Nkoyoyo will be laid to rest on Tuesday at Namugongo Anglican Matters Shrine in Wachiso District, Solomon Kawesa, NTV. Yeah.